I think. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back. I know that yesterday I told you that was my final video. However, I had a couple of requests to actually do the math to actually play with some of these numbers that I shared with you yesterday in the compensation plan for the ambassador rewards to just cast the vision a little deeper. So we're gonna go there today. We're gonna play with numbers and we're gonna talk about coaching. Hello, Molly. I'm so happy when Molly shows up on every single one of these lives because she's like, she we're like tag team it. She's my wing woman. She helps me, she does the math. However, I have a calculator here today, so, but I will need you, I always need you. <laughs> Okay, I'm excited. I'm so excited about all the things that are going on. If you knew what was going on behind the scenes, ladies, you'd be excited too. <laughs> We're so excited about all the things that God is doing for us here inside of GPA. And ultimately, it means he's doing it for you. He's doing it for our community. He's doing it for women that don't even know we exist yet. So since we've been talking about compensation plan numbers, I went through all five of the different aspects of the compensation plan. And yesterday when I went through um, the ambassador network bonus, the Unilevel, I did it in a way that I wanted to cast a vision for what the, the power of compounding numbers, the power of building a team together. But I didn't actually talk to you about what each level would actually earn you when it came to people. So I decided that after a couple of people saying, like, show us the numbers even deeper. I'm going to actually show you the example using real numbers and a real level and real percentages. It'd be very easy for us to pick that out because our compensation plan is so simple because the points and the dollar value is the is the same it's one-to-one -one. so I'm gonna go through that you can see it a little bit behind me here I'll go through it in a second but before I actually tell you about the numbers I want to just talk to you really quick about something that we're doing here that we're really excited about first of all many of you are already aware of the fact that we have the amazing radiant leadership Academy which is a 16-week biblical leadership program we are obsessed here with helping you grow we're obsessed with developing more leaders more women into leader roles of leadership, whether it's in your home or in, as a CEO, we're obsessed with it. And we know that Radiant Leadership Academy is changing lives and transforming women's lives. We're in class number five right now. Class number six begins in June. If you are not already a VIP, you can upgrade and join us in that class. Matter of fact, if you upgrade today, today is Wednesday, we have our leadership mastermind uh, call tonight, live call tonight with the founder of Auntie Anne's Pretzels, Anne Byler. I had a call with her a little while ago. She's so excited to get on and meet you ladies and um, just share her wisdom with you. So if you upgrade today, you'll have access to that call tonight. Um, but if, if you're not, if you haven't done that, if you're not a VIP, if you haven't gone through Radiant Leadership uh, or you wanted to and you missed out on this last class, you have another opportunity to do it in June. And I'm excited to tell you that we have begun the accreditation process. Um, if you are a coach or you know anything about the coaching world, there are a couple of entities that really have kind of elevated the profession as a whole, the profession of coaching. Um, the Currently, the profession of coaching is about a $20 billion a year industry, and it's projected to grow 30% over the next 10, actually eight years by, by uh, 2030. So it is a wildly growing profession. Matter of fact, a study was done in the UK uh, with a company that they actually took some of their top executives and they hired coaches for them. They paid top dollar for these coaches and they found that the return on investment for having a coach for these top in, in uh, these top executives, what do you think it was? Like, what do you think it was? Let's just say they invested over a 60 day period of time, $20,000 per coach, right? Per executive in coaching. So they invested $20,000 uh, for that coaching session for a 60 day coaching um, you know, I don't know. I don't think session is the right word, but that, that's what they did. 60 days of coaching. They found that there was a 788% return on investment. Wow. And we already know the power of accountability, having a coach, somebody to really walk you through to mentor you. We know that it's powerful. So one of the things that we're actively working on that we're very excited about is that the Radiant Leadership Academy is going to be accredited through the International Coaching Federation um, as a, an accredited course. So if you are a coach and you are looking to get the um, continued education credits, Radiant Leadership is going to count for you. That is so exciting. We're in the process now of getting that approval. Um, we've already applied. 
Uh, it just doesn't take that long. But the current class, the class number five, they're actually going to get uh, credits with the ICF uh, for Radiant Leadership Academy. So exciting. And as we are building the train the trainer, which we won't call it that, but the trainers, those of you that really feel called into coaching, those of you that feel called to take Radiant Leadership and share it with other people to really take that um, and, and either add that to what you're already doing in your current profession or just add that to what you're doing to what you're doing here at GPA. Um, we are working with the ICF to actually accredit that as one of their um, accredited courses to become a coach. So we're doing things here and we are excited about it. We are not just raising up um, more leaders. We're actually going to certify you um, with that accreditation. So that's a really, really big deal. We've been uh, praying on it and talking about it and the team is hard at work. So I'm excited to share that with you guys. Some of you are like, man, I really love to be a coach. I don't know how. Well, guess what? Not only can you be a coach here through GPA, through our program that we're going to uh, present to you probably in the fall, um, but you can actually find and recruit other women that either already are coaches that want to be coaches and build an entire team of women that are out there changing the world through the Radiant Leadership Academy. It's exciting. <laughs> I'm super excited. I'm super excited about it. It's a super exciting thing. We know God's hand is in it. Um, as we've had discussions, we all just are like, yes, this is the perfect thing that we're doing here um, to offer to the women. You know, we like to see those kind of like letters or numbers behind our name to give a little bit of weight and credibility to our ability to go out there and help people. And this is going to give you that. <laughs> becoming a certified radiant leader, becoming a certified radiant leader coach or trainer, whatever we're calling it, is going to be such a prestigious title as we move forward. And you guys get to be part of that. You women. Okay. I was just excited to share that with you guys. Oh, hold on. I, for, I always forget to put do not disturb on my phone. Let me get rid of that. Okay. Sorry about that. Yes, this will be huge for so many women having RLA and that ICF accreditation. I'm so excited. Okay. Thank you for that, Molly. <laughs> We're excited about this. We're really, really excited. We're working hard to bring all of these things together for you while we're in pre-launch, while we're getting all the things together, working out some things and really um, getting absolute laser clarity on exactly where it is that God is taking us. And that means taking you. And so it's a wonderful thing. Okay. Are you ready to hear some of these numbers for the compensation plan? I realize that I come on here in the middle of the day, uh, Pacific time, and I don't give anybody any warning. So if you're watching this on the playback, let us know. Type in replay or playback in the comments so that we know that you're watching it. And if you have questions about any of the videos that I've done, or if you have questions um, about something that I haven't discussed, just type it into the comments and we will make sure to answer that question for you. Okay, so I am going to go through some of these things that I wrote on the board. I am going to use, for the sake of this example here, I am going to use the tier of influencer one. I didn't write that, but influencer, um, level one influencer. That is the first tier that you hit when you become an influencer, when you built your team to that size. We know this is like the coveted place that women are working really hard to reach by the end of August so they can carry that um, that that prestigious title of founding ambassador here with Girl Power Alliance. Um, this also opens up the leadership bonus, the monthly leadership bonus at the level of influencer um, one. And what else happens at that? You get a one-time tier advancement bonus and you've opened up all the way through five levels of pay in your organization, in your network ambassador bonus. So um, I wanted to show you this. I'm gonna turn this just slightly so you can see. So at the influencer level one, um, you open up five levels of pay in your organization. Here are the percentages that you get paid. 10% on level one, 8% on level two, 3% on level three, 4% on level four, and on level five, you earn 2%. You're earning 2% of the memberships that come in. Doesn't matter which level, you're earning that percentage of those memberships. Remember, it's one-to-one. -one. So if somebody's at a basic membership, you are earning 79 points. And that is, it's one to one, one point for one dollar, okay? So let's go over here to this part of the chart where, uh, which kind of mimics what I did yesterday, but I took it even, I even went back in numbers a little bit. So I wanna show you this. If you personally enroll 10, that would mean you have 10 people on your level one, okay? If you personally, and we're saying that these 10 enrolled five each, that would mean that you had 
50 people on your level two, okay? If those 50 people each went and they enrolled four people each, so you see I'm lessening the numbers just to, for sake of um, maybe a more realistic um, example here. So if all 50 of those people went and enrolled four each, you'd have 200 people on your level three. If all 200 of those people went and enrolled um, three people each, you'd have 600 people on your level four. And the same thing, if all 600 of those people went and enrolled two, you'd have 1,200 people on your level five, okay? Um, and we're going to say that that is a total of 2,060 people through five levels of your business. So what does that look like in money? So for sake of simplicity and math, we're going to say that 50% of these people are at the basic membership and 50% of these women are at the VIP membership just for the sake of math and simplicity in this example. So dot, dot, dot. This is an example. This is not a promise of income. This is not a guarantee that this uh, of income. This is an example of what is possible utilizing the numbers that we have and the numbers that we know and utilizing that 50% of these numbers that I'm showing you here are basic memberships and 50% of them are VIP memberships. So the average of the two, um, the $79.99 uh, $79 basic membership and the $149.99 VIP membership. The average of those is 115. So we're going to use the number 115 for the sake of this demonstration. Okay, so at level one, you have 10 people um, at, on level one. So 10 people times, remember the average 115. Um, so that's pretty easy. It's 1,150 points. Okay. And then if we know that it's, there's 10% of that because it's one to one, then 10% of that is $115 on level one, right? So you get, is this making sense to you? Is this making, it's making sense to me. It's making sense to you, give me a thumbs up. Okay, so what we're saying for sake of this example is that all 10 of those people went and enrolled, five people each, so now there's 50 people on level two. I'm going to make sure you can see me. So now we have 50 people times 115, which is the average, right? So we have 50 times 115, but which is a total of $5,750. And then we're going to times that times 8%. That is, wait a minute, I don't know what's happening. I have euros in here. I don't want any of that. I don't need any of that. I don't need dollars or any of it. Okay. So uh, we have five, so that 5,750, 5,750 times 8%, which equals $460. Okay, are you guys with me? All right, perfect. So now those 50 people each go out and they enroll four people each. That's a total of 200 people on your level three. So we have 200 people times 115. Where am I getting 115? It is the average of the basic and the VIP memberships together. So we have 115 times 200. And that equals, that's not right, 115 times 200. So 115 times 200. Okay, so that's Uh, and if we're going to do 6% of that, 23,000 times 6%, that is $1,380 on level three. Are you guys with me? Sorry, my calculator is not working right. It's doing weird things. Okay, so that's on level three. Let's talk level four. Level four, you have... All 200 people went and enrolled three people each. That's a total of 600 people. So now we have 600, 600 people on level four times 115. Okay, so 600, 600 people times 115. That is 6,900. And we multiply that times um, 4%. 6,900 times 
4% equals $2,760. And now we're going to go to the big number here at the bottom. And remember, what we said is all 600 people enrolled two, which is a total of 1,200 people on your level four. Oh, level five, sorry. 1,200 people times 115 equals, this is going to be a big number, 1,200 people times 115. Woof, that is a big number, 138,000. And we're going to take that number and we're going to multiply it times 2%. Let's just make sure I'm correct. I'm doing it twice. 138,000 times 2% is $2,760. Now remember, this is just through five levels. I'm just showing you five levels. You will earn through seven, and you have the ability to earn through infinity. So let's add all of these up. 2760 plus 2760 plus 1380 plus 460 plus 115 equals a grand total of $7,475. Not bad for a little residual. Now remember, this is a hypothetical. <laughs> this is an example. This is not a guarantee, but I want to show you the potential. That's through five levels. Imagine when you reach influencer level three and you're earning through seven. Imagine when you reach kingdom influencer Level one, and you're earning through infinity. Through five levels, $7,475 is the residual. That's the recurring income on that number of memberships. Remember over here, you enrolled 10, who enrolled five, who enrolled four, who enrolled three, who enrolled two, for a total of 2,060 people. I wanted you to see this number so that you could see how quickly it begins to add up. And it's actually pretty easy to figure out. Um, a lot of people are like, well, I need to make X amount of money. Well, here's how you can um, reverse engineer that number for yourself. Here's how you can reverse engineer that number for the people on your team. Um, like I said, you will get wildly different numbers if you use only the basic membership or you use only the VIP membership. I did 50-50. That was a 50-50 blend. I averaged out. Uh, $79.99, $149.99, I got $115, that's the average, and I use that number with this. So you can begin to see how these numbers really quickly begin to add up as you have duplication on your team, as you have people that are enrolling people who are enrolling people. And you see that the larger numbers are on the bottom. Like the percentages go down, but the numbers actually go up. What does happen as your organization begins to grow is you have thousands of people that you've never met, <laughs> you've never had a conversation with on the lower levels, but you're earning the most on those levels because it's the law of numbers. It's the power of numbers. It's, um, you've heard the example of the penny a day doubled for 31 days. And you've heard the whole story. The story goes, if somebody offered you a million dollars right now, or they said you could have a penny a day doubled for the next 31 days, what would you take? Well, of course, the, the, the way that our brain thinks, we think, of course, I'll take a million dollars and I'll take it now. But the smarter decision is the penny a day double, doubled every day for 31 days. It ends up being over $10 million. I've done, the, I've done the math. One penny, two pennies, four pennies, eight pennies. I did it all the way up. And it doesn't even begin to have exciting numbers until around day 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31. So much like the network marketing business where you're planting seeds and working, planting seeds and working, you're making these little checks. My very, very first uh, commission check in the history of, of my network marketing career was $126. And I worked so hard for that check, man, let me tell you. And I was like, wah, wah, I can make more than that with one client because remember I was doing hair. But I understood the law of averages and the power of numbers and the power of compound um, effort and compound interest in your business. That's all. That's what all of this really is. You will be paid disproportionately on the front end for your efforts. I, I hope you guys are hearing me. I want to. I really. I want to like tattoo this on your brain as an entrepreneur. On the front end, you will be paid disproportionately less than the effort that you put in, in all ventures, in all ventures as an entrepreneur. 
you are putting more effort and energy in the beginning than you will be paid for. But if you are one of the people that can stick it out past the point, remember the penny a day doubled? At day 25, it's nothing. It's still nothing. You're like, this is worthless. I should have taken the million dollars. That's exactly what happens in network marketing. It's what exactly what happens as an entrepreneur. Disproportionate pay on the front end for the effort that you put in, and then you reach the point where it cannot slow down, and it's disproportionate pay for the amount of effort that you are putting in. I want you to hear me. This is why so many people don't stick it out in network marketing or any venture for that matter. You could listen to every story of people that have achieved these elite levels of success and they will talk to you about a disproportionate amount of effort, a disproportionate amount of no's, a disproportionate amount of what felt like failures and closed doors, but they persisted until they reached the tipping point and they were paid disproportionately well on the other end. They reached, they reached disproportionate levels of success on the other end. Sadly, most people just don't have the stick to it. They think, man, this isn't working. I've been doing it for two years. Now, mind you, people go to college for four plus years and then have to start at the bottom of a career, and they're willing to do that. But in network marketing, if I told you with a, if I told you with a hundred percent certainty that it was going to take you three years, three years until you were earning ten thousand a month, and then you were going to work really hard for three years. But after that point of three years, you'd never, ever, ever, for the history of your time here as a GPA ambassador, you'd never make less than ten thousand dollars a month residually, leveraged. Would you be able to stick it out for three years? The vast majority of people cannot, but the ones that do, they reach 10, then they reach 20, and beyond every month. And they and it's kind of like childbirth. Like those of you that had a rough childbirth or a rough pregnancy, you're like, man, I'm never doing this again. It's hurt. Five minutes after you hold that baby in your arms, you do it again. That's kind of what it's like in building a business. In the middle of it, you're like, this sucks. <laughs> this is really hard. I would never go through this again until you reach the tipping point and everything that you went through all at once makes sense and you would do it again in a heartbeat. You'd go through all the pain, all the no's, all the rejection, all of it again to reach that point. Just like a mother ultimately chooses to go through all of it again when you have a second and a third and more child because it is worth it. It is worth it. I am telling you, those of you that are here that are pioneering this with us, you are doing a disproportionate amount of work today for the amount of pay that is coming. I know I'm sending out the commissions, number one, and number two, I've been there. But can you lean on the vision? Can you lean on what God has told you about you being here? And can you hang on until you get paid disproportionately well? I'm not saying it's going to take you three years. It doesn't have to. In every business that I built as a, as a distributor, I reached that level right around the nine-month mark. Nine months of effort, hard work, being in the recruiting mindset nonstop. And every possible opportunity that I had to reach out to new people, I did. Every possible opportunity I had to work with my new people, I did. I was relentless for me right around my personal journey three times right around that that nine ten month mark was the tipping point for me in my business and I had worked with many people that were in business with me that long or longer or people that had been prior to me had been in the business two three years they never reached that level why what's the difference I was relentless I knew that if I could compound my efforts if I could compound my enrollments into a shorter period of time. Remember, it's not how many, it's how long. How many people can you bring to GPA? How many lives can you change in a shorter period of time? That compression of effort into a smaller period of time will create an explosion in your business. Have you ever stuck like Mentos or seen somebody stick the candy Mentos in a jar of soda? Like any kind of a soda? 
it explodes. That's what will happen here if you compound the effort, compound the energy, compound uh, the amount of enrollments into a small period of time. It's like dropping a Mentos into a can and it will explode. But sadly, most people won't do that. Remember yesterday, I said the average is like 2.6 enrollments. That's the average, 2.6. It makes me so sad. And this profession gets such a bad rap and people are like, oh, it doesn't work. I lost all this money. I did this, but you only enrolled 2.6 people. <sighs> I don't know what to tell you. No, I would never ever promise somebody that they would have success if they stayed average with the average numbers. Listen, ladies, I just want to tell you something. You were not born to be average. We stay with average because it's comfortable. It's safe. It doesn't feel like you're going to like fall apart when you hear a no. It's in the comfort zone. I don't want to hear a no today. Oh, I don't want to talk to that person. They're going to think bad about me. They're going to talk about me. Blah, blah, blah. I used to say this when I first got started, and it's very true. You know, I have always worked with women. My whole adult career, I've worked with women. And, you know, sadly, the many, many women, it's just they just talk about other people. It's just what they do. And I used to say this when I stood behind the chair, like they're already talking about you, like they're already doing it. You might as well give them something good. Give them good things to say, like go big. And another thing is we're so worried about other people's opinions, but they're not writing you a check every month to pay your mortgage or your rent. What are you so worried about? You know, you'll hear about maybe a neighbor. Oh, I heard so-and-so they lost their job. The guy two doors down. Oh my gosh, it's so terrible. I know I feel so bad. So what do you want for dinner tonight? They're not coming and knocking on your door. You're not going and knocking on their door. This is just human nature. It's a lie. The enemy wants you to be so trapped, so worried about what other people think, so stuck in fear that you don't go talk to anybody. So in your own head, like, oh man, maybe I'm not supposed to be here. This isn't working. It's hard. I hate to tell you, it is going to be hard for you to reach these elite levels of freedom and leverage, it's not going to be easy. It's simple, it's super simple, but it's not easy because it's difficult to get up every day and continue to move forward. When you've got a stack of bills, you're fighting with your spouse, you don't know what the future is gonna hold, you're, all your friends tell you you're crazy, you're doing another one of those things, you've been done network marketing before, you never had success, what are you doing? But in your heart of hearts, in your knower, you know, this is where you're called. This is what you're passionate about. This is what you want to do. Then you have to stand. You have to stand. Just like it says in Ephesians, when you've done all that you can do to stand. I am looking for the women who want to stand with me, with the entire GPA team, with the rest of the ambassadors. And we say, we know in our knower that this is the thing. This is the thing. This is why I was born. This might be why you were born too. And if you know that you know, then you armor yourself up, get on every call, reach out to Molly, reach out to me, make sure that we are in your corner and we're lifting each other up and we will forge this path together. And it won't be easy, but it will be worth it. Okay. <laughs> For those of you that are joining us tonight on the VIP call, I cannot wait to see you. You are in for a real, real treat. And for those of you that aren't, I hope to see you on that VIP call soon. And I hope to see you in the next round of Radiant Leadership. All right, ladies. Love you, love you. Talk to you all soon.